Hi there, this is Megan Fielder from Algebra Elevated, and I wanted to show you a little bit about my digital planner that I use for my own classes, and I wanted to make sure that I shared it with others who might enjoy having access as well. So let's dive in. Here's what the planner looks like when you open it up. So there's a little information there um, and some updates about how you can customize it. But if I walk you through, you can double click here and choose any date you want to start your planner on. You have to pick the first of the month, but then after that, it will auto populate a year after that first month. Then you get to choose if you want it to start on Sundays each week or Mondays. After that, when you look at your yearly calendar, that's what will uh, populate first. And so I like to have mine start in September and then it goes through the following August. So that's 12 months from September. And then it will also update in a monthly calendar. So again, I start with September and then after that, it will continue through all the months. And you can go up here and it will quick jump you to a month of your choice. You can hit previous month and it will take you to the previous one. If I go back to September, there's also this to-do list on the side. If you uncheck the box, it will take that line out of it. If you check it off, it strikes through so that you know that that task is complete. Then if I go back to my information sheet, in the weekly planner, there's several headings, which I'll show you in a moment, but these are completely customizable. So these are things that I like to have laid out for me while I'm planning, but if you want to split these up into two different classes that you are planning for, or even a six subject day, or anything like that, you have the choice to make these whatever you'd want. So then, for weekly planning options, there's a horizontal layout and a vertical layout. So this is the horizontal layout. If you notice in September, the first week on our monthly calendar is before school starts. So this I started for the next calendar year. My school starts after Labor Day, so I don't need that week. What you can do in the horizontal calendar is I can actually take all of those, and because it's Google Sheets, I can hide all those rows. I'll give you a little warning just to make sure that's something you want to do, and now they're gone, so they're not in my way. But this is what the horizontal layout looks like. The weeks are horizontal, but then the uh, headers are in the vertical columns. So the first column is going to be monthly no matter what. What's really cool about this resource is that anything you put on this calendar, so on the 6th I put Labor Day in here, it automatically puts that on your weekly calendar. So no longer do you have to copy that information back and forth and do all that work twice. It will automatically put that there for you. After that, these are your custom categories. So I have warm up, activity, exit ticket, homework, links, and then a reflection. What I love about this planner is instead of just one box for each day, it's split up so you can really think through your day or your class period with those students. I'm a secondary teacher. These are all the components of a one hour class. I hated when they were in one box. It just didn't work well for me. So if I look at my first day of school, the warm up, they have to pick up the syllabus. They can sit anywhere. We go over it. There's a little interview thing I do. There's no exit ticket at the beginning of the year much, but then it goes, it becomes pretty routine in my class. So that's why that's there. There's the homework and then links. You can hyperlink to anything in your Google Drive. Look, those are Google Docs. Anything in your Google Drive, or if I go down here, this is a link to an outside URL. You can link this to a lot of resources. Then no more of where did I put that information, and it's all in one place for you to find. You can even link it to Teachers Pay Teachers activities that you've purchased or are thinking about purchasing that really fit in right there on your plans. So at the top, you still have this quick navigation to each month, so I can jump down to April. You can see I haven't filled this in. It's for next year, so it's just getting started. I can jump back up to September. I can quickly jump to the following week there, 
or I can quickly go back to the previous, you'll see these are from my monthly calendar, auto-populated in. They're all right there. So lots of interactive features here. That's the horizontal plan. That's the one I personally prefer. There is a vertical option if that works better for you. And so they start on Sunday. That's what I chose at the beginning. The monthly, again, will auto-populate. If I go down to this month, they, or this week, there's my monthly information. And then you can list your other pieces of each day there, just like the horizontal version. What's also kind of cool about this is that I can jump back to that monthly overview and jump, the, jump to those weekly plans pretty quickly. Also, if you're wondering what this is on the side, in the monthly view, it's linked to the weekly plans. I can click number seven and it'll take me to my weekly March. I can go back to the yearly and there's quick links to monthly and weekly options there as well. Super interactive, super dynamic, all coded to help you make your life easier. Some bonus um, features of this planner is these class sheets or grading sheets or class rosters, whatever you'd like to call them. So it's set up for eight periods. Well, you'll notice that seven and eight kind of disappeared. That's because on this info sheet, I can customize these and I can put whatever I'd like in those headers. Well, I don't have eight periods, I only have six. So I just deleted them so that they weren't in my way. And then up here, you can quick jump to those different class periods or different hours, or you can click jump back to the year overview as well. If I go back to first hour, this is the first version of these rosters or grading sheets. And I would list my students here. It's automatically set up for 35 if you want more. Just insert one below, and then you can copy and paste that format down there. Also, they are auto pop are auto set up set up for you, so that if you have any zeros while you're grading these, then it automatically turns it red for quick visualization of who has turned it in and who has turned it has not. If you need more than 30 assignments, just go over here and you can insert columns to the right, or you could even duplicate the whole sheet and you can reuse it each quarter or each semester if you'd like to start that way. Then there's another option for this. It has all those great features, but instead of entering numerical values, you can enter checks or check off for the assignments instead. I personally have better luck with this because if I enter a value, knowing Google Sheets, you can do this autofill. And so I can fill everybody with that 100% of five points in my class. And then I can go back in and I remember, oh, student six and student 18 didn't turn it in. I'm gonna put a zero for them. So it's just a little easier for me to use the points version, but if you like the checkboxes, that's there for you as well. That is the little overview of this calendar. Again, everything is editable. You can start this on whatever day you want. So what's great is after you purchase it once, then next year you can just make a copy and start it on the next September. So you can come up here, you can make a copy. You can make a copy of your filled in version and then you just have to tweak things and move them around based on the new dates of the calendar year. Or you can go back to Teachers Pay Teachers and download a blank version of the calendar. What you also can do, which is so cool, is you can share this to so many people. So you can share it with administration, you could share it with colleagues, you can share it with that new teacher down the hall that you're trying to help out. You can make it where they can edit it so they could include their own pieces if you're trying to work together or you can make it view only so that they don't have access to mess with your plans, but they can see what's going on in your classroom. Lots of great features. I hope you consider downloading this resource. There is a free demo up on my website. So if you'd like to check out the year to glance features, then check the description below for a free demo of that. If you like all the features that this planner has to offer, please purchase through Teachers Pay Teachers. Thanks.